After Donald Trump won the presidency, a movement to break California from the U.S. and form its own country has gained traction. A few years ago, only one in five Californians supported secession. Today, it's one in three. The leader of the so-called Cal Exit campaign actually lives in Russia, and his movement has murky links to the Russian government. We spoke on Skype. I support things like universal health care and universal education, and those are things that this campaign believes that we can only achieve as an independent country. Although his pitch is aimed at progressives, Louis Marinelli was a registered Republican until he co-founded the Yes California campaign a couple years ago. But he still voted for Trump. I voted for Donald Trump because I felt that it would definitely help our movement. And uh, I wanted to have someone in the White House that would be a representative of the American uh, psyche, the American culture that we are trying to break away from. The movement's Russia connections go beyond just Marinelli's residence there. Yes, California opened an embassy in Moscow, reportedly with the help of a Russian-funded group that aids secession movements. You've established an embassy in Moscow, I understand? So we don't have an embassy in Moscow. We had a cultural center we opened in Moscow as a way to uh, represent in California history and culture. We had some exhibitions there about California history and culture. Many people in California didn't understand it, didn't like it. It was causing unnecessary division in a campaign where we can all be united behind the idea that California should be an independent country. According to experts on Russia, division is what the Kremlin is going for. Whether it's dividing the European Union, NATO, or even breaking up the United States. In fact, last year, the Kremlin helped fund a gathering of secessionists from all around the world in Moscow. Marinelli was there. Working from Russia, he hopes to build relations between a future nation of California and Russia. This shirt, which I'm wearing, California branding on it, I bought it in Russia. And there are shirts in, in, in clothing stores all over the place that are California brand. It's a very popular thing. People in Russia love California. Cal Exit is a long shot at best. Half a million signatures are needed to prompt a referendum that would be largely symbolic. And eventually, the U.S. Congress would have to approve letting go of California by a large margin. But the movement hopes to be the next unlikely victory for anti-establishment politics that bring the fringe into the mainstream.